Hey, psst, Frodo, come here. Um, bit sus, but okay. What's up, lads? Look, I've got this mirror here. Well, it's water, but it's also a mirror, you know? Anyway, come have a look. It's fun, I promise. What am I gonna see? Ugh, I don't know. It shows heaps of things, but I guess it mainly shows the future? Will it show if my band's gonna make it? We've been working really hard on this new album. I guess we'll have to find out. Bloop. Oh, all right, looking good. Wait a minute. What's that? Oh no! No! I know what you saw. It's your future. It's what's going to happen with the increasing digitization of the music industry and the rise of streaming platforms like Spotify. Musicians are struggling. It's already begun. Well, actually it's been happening for a while, you know. Music as a commodity peaked in 1999, but with the introduction of file sharing, everything kind of went to shit. I mean, by like 2009, music sales were down by 40% in the US. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You know what's even crazier? Artists can get as little as under $4,000 per 1 million stream on Spotify. Yeah, that seems really unfair to be honest. Yeah, it's really unfair, because convergence and digitization of the music industry should be such a great thing. But unfortunately, digitization has also led to these streaming platforms taking advantage of artists and paying them terribly. Now musicians are forced to supplement their profits in other ways, like with merch or touring. But there's a global pandemic, so touring's off the cards. Now most musicians can't even make a livable profit off their music. So what do we do? Well, Frodo, we have to innovate. We have to beat the big companies at their own game. People love vinyl right now. Let's get some of those out. And we've got to get you a YouTube channel and show off your skills. And of course, we've got to get on TikTok. We've got to get your songs viral. Pretty much, we need to use convergence and digitization to our advantage. But would that even make a difference? Um, yeah, of course. Even the smallest person can change the course of the future. 